if Trolls villains were charged for their crimes. Please give it up for your keeper of the trolls, your minister of happiness, your royal chef. Me. The Bergens have imprisoned the trolls and have a yearly festival where they eat them. Chef claims to be the keeper of the trolls and seeing what a show she made out of it, this probably isn't her first time. To start off, I will give her a life sentence for all the trolls that have been eaten and imprisoned over the years. Also, you could state a case that the trolls are livestock to the Bergens, but since they can communicate with each other, I won't accept this. And because every prince deserves a princess, I give you the one they call Princess Poppy. What are you feeling? <laughs> that one's rotten! Princess Poppy is still a baby at this point in time. The chef feeding her to the young prince would make it infanticide. The highest sentence for killing a baby is nine years in prison. The chef hits the ground to capture the trolls. This will be considered reckless endangerment. What exactly are you proposing? Bringing back Trollstis? That's exactly what I'm proposing! Great idea, sire. Absolutely brilliant. Aren't you smart? The loyal chef will be right behind you. Holding a knife. What's up? I'm your chef, after all. This can be considered as treason, which holds a life sentence. But since it's only conspiracy, she ends up with 14 years. controls the trolls controls the kingdom and i i am that he you're a dude ah! uh, but i think i should share this moment with all the kingdom uh, eat it. <gasps> oh my god it is later revealed that creek didn't actually die so we go from murder to attempted murder Too late. Actually, your timing is perfect. You'll never find them. Not where they're hiding. Oh, you're right. I couldn't find them. Someone like this guy. He's selling us out. Wait. No, no, no. Wait. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. Thank you, Poppy. I'm selling you out. I can't find how many trolls there are in Troll Village, but let's say around 250. Don't listen to her. There's only one way to be happy. My way. With me as queen, all of life will be a never-ending feast of eat, eat. Okay, okay, enough! Stop! You're harshing the vibe we worked very hard to build to! We're all gonna have the same vibe. Under rock!
Queen Barb shakes the people with her rock cords, and as evident by the structure being destroyed, we can conclude she destroys the entire Techno Kingdom. With her cords, she probably hurt a lot of people too, but there is no real evidence for assault. This can be considered herbicide, meaning the death of a city. The penalty for this is quite vague, so when in doubt, a death penalty seems fitting. the techno string who knew world domination could be so much fun since in this film the strings are the most valuable resource this would definitely be theft of the highest accord <laughs> no she took our string our, our music she took everyone again she destroys an entire city and takes the string but in this case, she also imprisons all the people. Whoever brings me Queen Poppy gets to keep their very own music in their very own territory. Here. I don't know, it looks pretty tiny. Get me Queen Poppy! Queen Barb hires four different parties of bounty hunters to capture Queen Poppy. She does this by threatening the other parties. This will go down as conspiracy for kidnapping and extortion. Save yodeling! I thought I heard a yodel. The final notes of pop. It will never invade anyone's brain again. But you know who else was feisty? Pop Village. We were attacked! by Barb and her barbarians. She took everybody to Volcano Rock City. It was scary. Rock me, daddy. Another village destroyed, another population imprisoned. All taste in music and clothing and general lifestyle. You and me are the same, Pop Squeak. Uh Although not shown on camera, she got the other two strings too, and I assume it wasn't peacefully. Rock on! Turning someone into a rock zombie is not really punishable, but since by becoming a zombie, you technically lose your life, I will treat it as such. It's mullet time. I got a letter from him. Dear John Dory, I'm being held against my will by Superstar's Velvet and Veneer. I didn't know where any of you were, so I went to Mount Rages alone. And there was Floyd. You don't understand. Velvet and Veneer are giant, pop-obsessed succubi with no talent, and they've been stealing mine. And they'll be back any minute for more. <laughs> John, John, stop! The bottle is made of diamond. Floyd is being held captive against his will in a diamond perfume bottle. We have no evidence to say how he got in that bottle, so we can only charge the imprisonment. Okay, that's fine. We'll just kiss our careers goodbye and focus our efforts on charity. Ah, oh, that's more like it. But honestly, that dude looks rough. He's fine. And he's getting pale. Ah! Do you see what you're doing? You're literally sucking the life out of me. <gasps> Spraying Floyd's talent is literally sucking the life out of him. This would be torture. Your first torture offense gives you a 20 year sentence, but this isn't the first time. So the penalty will be a life sentence. It's all going to change as soon as we have Brozone. Brozone? I forged a letter begging for them to come and save you. 
I love me. Forgery is sentence per case. In this case, because of the ill intent, I will give the maximum sentence of 10 years in prison and a $25,000 fine. Because of the amount of torture and previous convictions, we will from now on charge with death sentences for this. You said that it was for smoothies. It's called lying, Primp. Deal with me. If you use too much, you'll kill him? The plum that I tested turned into a prune! You're smarter than I thought. Now I don't trust you. That's maybe not a rational response. I don't, um, please don't put me in the closet. Mistreating an employee can result in hefty fines. Since this abusive relationship has been going on for a while, we are sentencing for $136,532 per instance. You don't want to give up all the yachts and the bling and your illegal pet monkey, do you? <laughs> Dying sucks, but at least it's for some sweet bling-a-ding and some boho chic home furnishing. You get it. <laughs> Hey, hello, hello in there. Wake up, wakey, wakey. Oh, he's dead. Oh no. Tax evasion? I'm gonna have to repossess your yacht. Fair enough. Prison it is!